Bonjour à tous and welcome to French for a day. This is the place where I share with you my French beauty secrets and I post a new video every Saturday. Today we are creating the French makeup look with affordable products. The makeup look that I'm going to be creating today is going to be very easy, simple, it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes but it's going to take me a lot more than 10 minutes because I want to get into detail and explain to you the products that I've tested, what I love about them and how they perform. And I'm very excited because in this video I'm going to show you actually a very affordable dupe to this lipstick, which you've seen me using in a lot of my videos. This is the iconic Hermes lipstick. A lot of you wanted a more affordable option of this lipstick, so I've tried so many lipsticks. I, I believe it, I've tried hundreds of, hundreds of lipsticks in the past month and a half. I went to every drugstore at my town and at another city as well because I had the pleasure to travel a little bit. So I really tested so many lipsticks and I think that I have very a few affordable dupes to this lipstick of Hermes, which is a really expensive one. And I'm very happy because I also have a very similar highlighter to the iconic Chanel Camellia highlighter. It used to be a limited edition highlighter, so I have one that performs just as good as this one. So let's go ahead and get started. This video was challenging for me because I wanted to find the best quality products at affordable price and products that are available internationally. So there are a lot of products that I really love. They are quite affordable. However, they are only available in France or they are not widely available. You can find them. So these were my criteria when I wanted to choose the products. I've already prepped my skin and we're starting with the base. I've tried a lot of drugstore foundations. However, some of them I like, some of them I don't like that much. However, there, are, there was not one foundation that I could say it is as good as my high-end foundations. It's as good as, and I would like this foundation as much as I love the Water Fresh Tint from Chanel or the Numero 1 de Chanel foundation. The one foundation that I found and really impressed me and I love and I've used is the MAC Studio foundation. This is the water weight SPF 30 foundation. I'm going to write everything in the description box. It turns out that in Europe we don't actually have that huge counters on MAC and we don't have that many MAC products. It's not as in the US because when I've been to the US, the MAC counters or the MAC shops are usually going to be huge with such an amazing selection. In Europe, it's not like this. So I really like this foundation. I think that it's um, a very liquidy foundation and gives me a flawless finish. So I'm going to use a little bit. I find that actually a couple of drops are absolutely enough for the whole face. I've already prepped my skin because I wanted to save some time. Okay guys, now base is done. This video is going to be a little bit longer because I want to chat with you because I think it's worth having an honest chat. I'm always going to be honest with you and I have to say that during this month and a half when I was testing drugstore products, all of the products that I use are going to be in the description box. During this month and a half, I actually found out that it's very challenging to find really high quality, affordable makeup products. And I used to use a lot of drugstore products when um, 10 years ago, and the quality was different. I find that now when I went back to the drugstores and I literally I started purchasing my favorite products that I've used approximately 10 years ago, eight, 10 years ago, they did not perform the same way as I remember and they were changed. Probably the formulations are changed. So it turns out that all of the foundations that I used to love in the past are now changed and I don't like them anymore. I don't like them as much as I love my other high-end foundations. They just don't have the same performance. French women don't own a lot of makeup products and they usually don't use only expensive products. It all depends on the budget and on the preferences. They are usually going to have a well-curated makeup collection of high-quality products that work for them and they are usually going to repurchase them instead of searching for new products. If a French woman, or at least that's my experience and that's what my French um, friends do, when they find a product that works for them and that makes them look beautiful, they're just going to stick to it and they're going to keep repurchasing it. I have a very exciting blush to share with you. This blush is absolutely gorgeous. This one is from M Cosmetics and it is as good. All of the M Cosmetics blushes, these are the liquid blushes, are as good as the Chanel 
water fresh blush but they are much cheaper my favorite one is the venetian rose this is the one that i most often use it gives a very healthy glow on the skin it comes with a little dropper and it is just as good as the water fresh blush from chanel i'm very happy that i can actually recommend this one so I like to use it with my favorite refer brush and I forgot to use concealer. I'm going to go back to concealer now because I was rumbling. Anyways, it gives the same healthy glow finish as the Water Fresh Blush from Chanel and you can apply it on top of powder if you want to, to refresh the face during the day. You can apply it on top of foundation or you can even apply it without foundation. Sometimes I use it on bare face, just on top of my sunscreen to make my skin look a little bit more alive. Okay, I needed to take my hair out of the way. So this is our first winner. This is absolutely stunning. It is not as pricey as Chanel's blush. A little goes a long way and I absolutely love it. And then I have a concealer that actually performs very well. I have used this concealer in the past a lot and I don't know how many of these I've used. This is the famous Maybelline concealer. I'm going to apply just a little bit. I'm going to use the Angie Hot and Flashy brush. If you want to know more about my brushes, I have made a dedicated video. I know that a lot of you are interested to know what brushes I use. I made a dedicated video where you can see all of my brushes that you see in the video. So I'm going to make sure to link those also in the description box. Okay, concealer is done and I'm just going, um, just passing with my beauty blender to make sure that I don't have visible streaks from the brush. I usually don't have, but just to make sure, I'm going with the damp beauty blender very lightly on some places and mostly focusing here where I have fine lines. So I'm not going to get tired repeating this one. If you don't need concealer, please don't use concealer and don't follow directly step-by-step -step the tutorial that I'm making here. Don't follow me step-by-step, -step. you are unique. So just enhance your natural beauty. Some people might not need foundation, some people might not need concealer. Usually on camera I put a little bit more foundation, a lot more foundation that I would put in my day-to-day -day life because camera loves heavier makeup and on camera more makeup looks usually better. But in real life, just customize the coverage. Make sure that the foundation matches exactly your skin tone because that's how you can use the foundation almost like concealer, just here and there, and keep the face fresh. We are moving on to a very exciting product. This is my beloved Camellia highlighter from Chanel and I found a highlighter that performs equally well and looks so beautiful. And I'm so proud of myself because I've tested so many highlighters. The highlighter is not really one of the most affordable ones. It's not drugstore. This is again by MAC. I adore this highlighter. It has such fine little shimmer, sheen, almost invisible. You're going to see now when I start applying it on my face. I really like this one. And the finish that it gives to the skin, the whole effect that it gives to the skin is very similar to the Chanel's Camellia highlighter but it's much cheaper because this used to be a limited edition. So the Camellia, as you can see on my ring finger, is a little bit more peachy, but then when I start applying them with a brush on my face, I get pretty much the same effect. There is very tiny little shimmer I want to show you now. If you've watched my previous videos on French Beauty Secrets, you probably know that I like to apply my highlighter before I apply the blush because it gives a more lit from within glow. I'm going to make sure to link this video in the description box where I show you my um, highlighter application technique. The reason why I want to apply now the M Cosmetics blush before my highlighter is because I wanted to show you that it's actually very glowy. It is almost like it has the same effect as the Water Fresh Blush from Chanel, which gives you a very healthy looking skin. Now I don't have the tiniest bit of highlighter and this is what I wanted to show you. So if you, this blush literally can be used instead of a highlighter as well. It does not have anything shimmery. However, it just makes the skin look healthy and it looks as if I'm wearing highlighter. So that's why I just don't, didn't want the highlighter to mess up. I wanted to show you the effect because this video is for us to explore, to chat. Just wanted to show you more 
really beautiful products that are not incredibly expensive. Moving on to this highlighter, which I'm very excited for this. It's, it's like a great find because it looks very natural. I'm going to exaggerate a little bit. Uh, in my daily life, I'm not going to use that much highlighter, but I just want to exaggerate a little bit and show you. It looks very natural. I think that it's going to suit all skin tones, even deep skin tones, fair skin tones. It has this kind of a champagne color. It's lovely. It's gorgeous. And it gives me this very ethereal glow, just like the Camellia highlighter from Chanel. I'm going to lightly here emphasize the glow. So 10 out of 10 for this highlighter. It's beautiful. Moving on to eyes here, I have three incredible eyeshadow palettes to show you and they're all more affordable than the average eyeshadow palette that I'm going to show you in my videos. They are definitely more affordable. So let's go ahead and start with the most affordable one that I absolutely love and I'm going to be using in this video. And this is by Max Factor. I adore this palette. I want to show you now. Now apparently the packaging is not something impressive, but these the eyeshadows inside is what's important and they are very affordable. They are very affordable and quite impressive. And this is 001 Cappuccino Nudes. I'm going to make sure to list all of the products in the description box. This comes with this um, applicator, which I'm going to throw away immediately because it just doesn't, doesn't work for anything. But the colors here are so beautiful and they are perfect to create gorgeous everyday looks and you can go from day to night because you have deeper shades here. The next eyeshadow palette that I think is worth your attention is by Sigma and this is the Ambience eyeshadow palette. I believe that I've shown this one in previous videos. I really like this eyeshadow palette. I think that it has all the colors that you need for a day to night makeup look. I think that the colors are beautiful. You have different finishes. You have more shimmery colors and you have colors with sheen. And the third eyeshadow palette that I like is wonderful. That This is probably actually should be a number two. I'm not really sure. These two, I really love them because they are small and I usually like to use smaller palettes. So this one has the size, pretty much the size of a Chanel eyeshadow palette. Okay, so you can see in terms of size, this one is um, very similar to a Chanel eyeshadow palette, but here with the Chanel eyeshadow palette, you only get two grams of product in the whole palette. And here you get six little pots with 1.5 grams of product. So you have a lot more product here in this palette and I want to show it to you. It is absolutely stunning. Again, has different finishes and I think that it's perfect to create the everyday beautiful French makeup look. And you can go from day to night makeup look. I like these brown colors here. Okay, so for eyes today I'm going to be using a combination of these two palettes, but whichever you choose, I think that the quality is really gorgeous and here is a place where you can definitely save some money and have really good high quality products. I'm going to start with I'm going to start with this color here from M Cosmetics and I like to apply this shade in my crease just to create a little bit of dimension. I don't need a lot. And I'm using a big fluffy brush. Sometimes I'll just use, you know me, one color. But today I want to show you more of the colors. The blendability of these colors are gorgeous. And this one is actually the closest one to the quality of Chanel eyeshadows and Dior eyeshadows. This one is the closest one um, in terms of quality, elegance of the shimmer, this is the closest one to my high-end palettes. Because you just, you can see that. It just took me a few seconds to blend the color and it looks very beautiful. Next, I'm going to use one of my favorite colors from the MAC palette, this color here. It's a lovely, almost like, this is almost like a cappuccino color. I'm going to place this directly with my finger on my mobile eyelid. I really love this color. I think that it's very elegant. It's going to work beautifully also on mature eyelids because the shimmer is not too... it's not a strong shimmer. This palette has some 
timeless colors. I often use my finger just to place the color and after that I'm going to take a little bit of the color. Use a brush for more precise blending. But my eye makeup never takes too long. It's usually going to be quite quick. Then with the same brush, because I like when my colors blend, I'm going to use this paler highlight shade. And I'm going to place this one in the inner corner of the eye and drag the color. And all of these palettes that I showed, all of the three palettes, the colors don't need a lot of blending because I don't like to blend. I don't like to spend a lot of time on blending. I like to have fun, enjoy life. <laughs> enjoy my coffee, enjoy meeting friends, and I don't like to spend too much time on makeup. So all of these three palettes, whichever you choose, whichever you can find in your country, I think that it's going to be a beautiful addition to anyone's makeup collection. Now I want to apply a little bit of black coal eyeliner just on the upper lash line to create a little bit more dimension for my eyes. And the one that I'm using is by Inika, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right, but it says Certified Organic Eye Pencil and I really like this one. You've seen me using this eye pencil coal eyeliner in a few other videos. I'm only going to line my outer upper lash line and massage the color into the roots of the lashes. Just creating the illusion for thicker lashes. I'm not going to do flick or anything like that. Okay guys, now I coat my eyelashes and I just wanted to save you the whole time of me curling my eyelashes. I'm going to apply just a little bit of the deeper shade. Now that my eyelashes are curled, you can very easily apply the crease color once your lashes are curled because they are going to guide you literally where the color should stop. So you have to definitely try that. Use your eyelashes as a guideline and just deepen the darkness. That's what I'm usually going to do. Now, moving on to mascara. For mascara, I'm very excited because I have a mascara that performs equally well as a couple of my favorite high-end mascaras. So, the winner when it comes to mascara for me is the Maybelline Sensational Lush Very Black. This mascara performs equally well as my the new Guerlain mascara, which I love. You see me using this one in every video. This is the Guerlain Noir G mascara and also the YSL Fossil Overcurl mascara. So this one is the same as these two. Okay, so there we have the two mascara wands. This one is a rubber wand and this one is a classic wand. Both of them are curved and both of them hold the curl and they give a lot of volume. I wouldn't say that they give length, but they definitely give a lot of volume. They separate the lashes, they are buildable. And then I want to show you also the wand of the YSL mascara. This one is quite old. I actually keep it just to show you the wand in case I have to. This one has rubber wand as well. It's very good. It holds the curl and it gives a lot of volume. Okay guys, mascara is done. This video is coming to an end because I'm going to show you the dupe of the iconic Hermes lipstick. It, actually, this one turned out to be a very extraordinary color. A lot of you sent me messages um, with different colors that might be possible dupes and I had high hopes for MAC lipsticks because I thought that when I go to MAC store and I went to a couple of MAC stores, I'm going to find an exact dupe to this one because MAC have incredible color range. However, all of the lipsticks that looked very similar in the bullet to this one did not swatch in the same way. They were either a lot more pinkish, either a lot more purplish. This turns out to be quite an extraordinary color, but it's really expensive. So let's go ahead and swatch this one right here. It's a really beautiful color. So let's go ahead and start with the best dupe that I found to this lipstick. It's a lipstick from Bourjois and this is number 14. This is the closest color that I found. I know that in the bullet they look a little bit different, but look what happens when I swatch them. And I'm going to show you also on my lips side by side. So you can see that this one is a little bit more muted and just a fraction more muted. However, when I apply these colors on my lips, they look the exact same way. 
my arm is more tanned than my face because I was spending a lot of time outside, so disregard this one. Now, as I exfoliate my skin a few times, it's going to become the same as my face. But anyways, looking at the lipsticks right now, I think that this is the winner for me. Definitely, there is a difference. This one is a little bit creamier, not as velvety matte, but both are matte formulations. Now, I believe that I'm successful here because this lipstick costs approximately, I believe, $10 or even less. Not really sure, but you can find it in Europe, you can find it in the US as well. In most countries, I believe, sell bourgeois makeup. The next dupe that I found to the Hermes lipstick is one of the new lipsticks of Guerlain. I know that this one is an expensive lipstick. However, if you only want to get the refill, it's approximately 34 US dollars, which compared to the, I believe the Hermes lipstick is 72 US dollars. I think that it's a nice way to get this color because this color is really extraordinary. And this is one of the Guerlain's holiday makeup collection. The number is 777. I purchased this lipstick just to be able to show it to you. Now, in terms of feel, the luxury feel that this lipstick is going to give you, it is the same as Hermes. Okay, so this is the Guerlain lipstick. On my arm now, as they face the light, they might look a fraction different, but when I apply them on my lips, they are not really different. You're going to see in a minute, I'm going to make sure to split the screen and show you all of these colors. Now, I know that this Guerlain lipstick, if you buy the case, if you buy a case for the lipstick, it's not going to be that cheap because I believe that the cases of Guerlain are approximately 20, 22 US dollars. However, initially you can just buy the refill and then buy a case and buy more Guerlain lipsticks because Guerlain have some of the best lipsticks. However, if you only buy the refill, it's going to come like this. And if you like the color, I think it's worth it because this is going to go away, it's limited edition. The next color that I want to show you is an old lipstick that I used to have and that I love and I repurchased and this one is by Chanel. This is the Rouge Allure Velvet. Again, this is a matte lipstick and it's number 50. This is again a beautiful color. I want to, I want to swatch it right here. Okay, so this is the Chanel lipstick. As you can see, it is a little bit more pinkish. However, on the lips, it looks very similar and I think that it's a beautiful color that it's one of my all time favorite colors. The next lipstick that I want to show you is by L'Oreal. They put all of these alarms around the lipsticks. It, this makes it very ugly actually with all of these stickers, all of these alarms. And when I remove them, these become a little bit dirty. I don't know why they, they are doing this. Um, this is something that I don't like about the really cheaper drugstore brands. At my local drugstores, they're really putting, wrapping them in those alarms, which makes it a little bit frustrating. Anyway, so the L'Oreal lipstick that I have is number 14, no fig deal. Again, this is one of the long lasting lipsticks from L'Oreal. You can see that it's really interesting. This is matte, it's quite long lasting. And I'm going to swatch this one right here. It is a little bit more purplish and it has a little bit more intense color, but I think that for this season, it's going to be beautiful and it's very affordable lipstick. So I really like this one. Now for my lips today, I want to use the winner and the Hermes um, together. So I'm gonna do half of my lips with the bourgeois lipstick and then half of my lips with Hermes. And let's see if you can tell the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and start with bourgeois. Okay, that looks very weird. <laughs> Let's go ahead and add the Hermes. I think that we have a winner because I'm usually never going to go ahead and apply this lipstick. If you watch my other videos, I'm never going to go ahead and apply this lipstick straight from the bullet. I'm usually going to tap a little bit on my lips. I'm going to use my fingers. I'm going to create a stain. I'm usually not going to use it in that way, but I think that you almost cannot tell the difference. Right now, this is a very rough application. And if I just fix this part where you can see that, obviously I started applying from here and from here, it's like almost like I created almost like Cupid's bow on my lower lip. 
So if I remove this one and if I fix it, I bet that no one is going to know if I go outside that I'm wearing two different lipsticks on my lips. So I think that we have a winner here. We have to admit that. And this one is really affordable lipstick. Well, hello again it's the late afternoon right now and I wanted to show you how my makeup looks I think that it looks really nice this has been right now approximately seven and a half probably eight hours since I first applied the makeup I didn't touch up during the day I have to say that the foundation holds pretty well however I, I needed to blot um, twice during the day the difference that i find with this foundation is that if i don't apply powder if i don't set it with powder it is going to get shiny like so you can see and i blot it twice but if i blot or if i apply a nice loose powder it performs very well doesn't emphasize pores fine lines my skin looks actually quite flawless you can see also that the concealer is not creasing in case you're looking for more affordable options i think that this is a good one just keep in mind that it, it is a little bit oilier during the day compared to my Chanel's foundations, which I find are more, let's say, water, almost like water-based and they don't really make my skin oily during the day. For the first time now, I have a little bit of oiliness going on on my skin. However, people around me seem to like it a lot. Um, and that's why I wanted to show it to you. You can see that the blush, I definitely need to reapply the blush. So I'm going to go ahead and reapply. I might actually use a different color. Rose Milk is another color that I really like from M Cosmetics. So I'm just quickly going to go ahead and reapply Rose Milk here. The Venetian Rose is in my handbag, which is far away from me. But anyways, I'm getting ready for the evening. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of Rose Milk here on my cheeks. So a little drop goes a long way here. So completely failed and applied way too much, but I can very easily um, so I, let me know some of your favorite affordable makeup products because I was testing a lot of products during this month and a half when I was getting ready for this video and when I was choosing the products that I'm going to feature in this video however month and a half is not enough to try everything that's out there so for sure I missed some incredible affordable makeup products so leave me a comment let me know what I missed let me know what are products that I should try in the future and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.